Welcome back for my final daily report market analysis video with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech on Wednesday, the 2nd of September. Looking at this gold chart, you've had a dollar rebound today, which is just weighing across markets. Uh, and gold has just sort of lost some of the upside impetus that it had built up. Um, previously, just rolling over a little bit. But interestingly enough, other markets are quite considerably dollar positive today, such as Euro, such as cable, not necessarily gold. Gold is all but flat pretty much. And I think that's a fairly good sign that this gold price is still holding up fairly well. You've got these momentum indicators, which are sort of beginning to certainly look more encouraging on a, on a medium term basis. Now they're bottoming out and uh, trying to lead the market higher. And I think that weakness now on gold is a chance to buy. You've got the uptrend of the past, coming up to almost three months now. Uh, that comes in around the 1926 area, which is sort of that 23.6% fib area of the, uh, of the big bull run, uh, which is supportive and has been supportive throughout August uh, on a consistent basis. And um, I think anything back sort of to 1955 really, is a chance to buy. Look at the near-term implications of that. The breakout consistently tested that level of resistance previously uh, during August and then broke out and it's become a basis of support. This is a good pivot line now, 1955. That is holding. And you've got the momentum indicators, which are still essentially fairly ranging, but with a slight positive bias. And you've got the MACD lines turning up, the stochastic swinging higher. I think this one is sort of getting ready once more um, for a decent run higher. And I think buying into weakness will be a feature of gold. And um, I think uh, a move back above, well, back off 1976, really, this, um, this old reaction high, which I see on the hourly chart, has again become a basis of a near-term pivot area, sort of almost pretty much catching today's high before rolling over. Again, initially another little look at it this morning, just now. And I think a move above 1976 really does generate upside momentum once more for 1991, which was yesterday's high, and obviously 2015 being the key reaction high, the key lower high. And if you break out above that, you really are up, up and away. But I think gold is sort of preparing for the next run higher. It's just that obviously this dollar strength has just sort of stalled that move for now, but I think it will be bought into. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. Go to our website to sign up for our webinars and click to watch Trader Talks, our videos that give you top trading ideas.